Hi, I'm Anul Dranga Kuramia, and today we get to talk about the Petty Cash book. This is Kisembo Academy. During the course of operation of most businesses, there are some small costs that are supposed to be met on a daily basis. I'll give an example. Let's say an organization has like up to 250 employees. These employees are given transport uh, allowance every day. If they are given transport allowance every day, which is really small money, that would mean that the person that is in charge of the books is supposed to be posting to the cash book every day for this expense. So if this person is to be, to be posting to the cash book every day, that would translate into, uh, as far as transport expense is concerned, it means this person is going to post up to five times every, in a week. Those are five working days. So in a month, as far as this transport expense is concerned, this person will be posting 20 times. And if you translate that into a year, we are talking about up to 240 postings of just transport expense to the cash book because the person in the accounts gives out money for transport. Now, transport is not the only small expense that is made on a day-to-day -day basis. It, there, there are other expenses that could be met, like cleaning, uh, things like stationery, and so on. Now, those small expenses means that there will be too many postings in the cash book every day. And uh, that becomes too much. It, is, it becomes too much work for the accountant to post those small things every day into the cash book. To relieve the main accountant or call them the cashier of these small, small obligations, what most organizations do is that they appoint somebody called a petty cashier. Just like the word you hear, it's petty, petty cash. So what happens is that this petty cashier is the one that is responsible for handling those small expenses. What happens now is that now the main cashier is, will give money to the petty cashier and it is the petty cashier's responsibility to make sure that they meet these expenses, these daily expenses and record them. The petty cashier will run or will maintain a book we call the petty cash book. So appointing a petty cashier to run those small expenses and maintaining the records of those small day-to-day -day expenses relieves the main cashier of getting indulged into those small details and it gives the main cashier the opportunity to concentrate on what is more relevant as far as financial management of the entity is concerned. So the overall idea here is that the petty cashier runs what you call a petty cash book and in this petty cash book if it is traveling expenses those traveling expenses are going to be outlined in the petty cash book if it is cleaning expenses those cleaning expenses are going to be met on a daily basis in the petty cash book and so at the end of the month the total of let's say the transport expenses are then posted as one figure to the cash book so you'll find that as opposed to before because there is now a petty cash system, you'll find that it will be just, let's say, transport expenses. Transport expenses will be posted once to the petty cash book, and that will translate to 12 times in a year. That is if it is done monthly. Uh, and that is a much better outlook as compared to posting it up to 240 times a year if, if you're not using a petty cash book. So this takes us to the next question. Where does the petty cashier get the money? Now, the money is gotten under a system we call the impressed system. Here is how it works. Let's say we have hired a petty cashier to manage the day-to-day -day small expenses of the business. So we shall say um, our petty cashier is going to be operating every month. So what we do is that we disburse money to this petty cashier every month. When we disburse money to this petty cashier every month, this petty cashier is supposed to issue that money out depending on the expenses that need to be met. And at the end of the period, this petty cashier is supposed to account for that money. If our company policy is that it is supposed to be 1 million shillings to be spent every month, it means the petty cashier is supposed to 
work within that one million. If at the end of the month, the petty cashier has spent 800,000, so he's supposed to account for the 800,000, and the main cashier will disburse 800,000 so that it becomes, it gets back to one million, so that the petty cashier is now able to start the new month with one million. So the impressed system works on the idea that it is going to be a constant figure that is always given to the petty cashier. And whenever the petty cashier uses the part of that money, the next period, the main cashier is supposed to reimburse that money so that it gets back to the original amount. Now, the amount of money that a petty cashier is, is required to use for the expenses depends on the company and even the period there are some companies that determine that the petty cashier will be reimbursed every after a week in some companies they say it's every after two weeks in some entities they say after a month so it all depends so that is basically it as far as the interest system is concerned if i may just conclude on the matter the interest system is simply where the cashier gives the petty cashier enough cash to meet the petty needs for a given period of time. And I said that this given period of time can either be a week, it can either be a month, or it can be a fortnight. At the end of the period, the petty cashier is supposed to give accountability for the money used. And thereafter, the petty cashier is reimbursed to bring the money back to the original amount. The original amount is what we call the impressed amount. So when the money is brought back to the original amount, then the cycle is repeated again. Let me give an illustration. Let's say I am the petty cashier and I am supposed to be operating within a period of a month. So what happens is that my boss, who so happens to be the cashier, gives me 1 million shillings. So 1 million shilling becomes the interest amount or the cash float. So I am supposed to use that 1 million shilling throughout the month. So I use this 1 million shillings to give out money to cater for things like transport, uh, cleaning expenses, those small expenses like I've explained earlier. So at the end of the, of the month, I am supposed to account for how that money has been spent. Of the 1 million shillings, if I spend 600,000, it means that in the next month, my boss, that is the cashier, is supposed to reimburse me 600,000 so that uh the the cash float the impressed amount gets back to one million and then i operate so the cycle is repeated again so that is how it basically works maybe just take a look on your screen to for the definitions of some of these uh, key terminologies as far as the petty cash is concerned like i already said i said there's what we call the impressed amount and the impressed amount is simply the fixed amount of money given to the petty cashier to spend in a given time period then we have uh, what we call the reimbursement amount the reimbursement amount is topped up to bring the petty cash amount back to the original impressed amount what are some of these common items that are handled by the petty cashier there are these small small expenses I'll give just a few examples some of these common items that are handled by the petty cashier we have things like postage and stamps for sending letters and parcels. We have stationary expenses, which may also include buying things like the ink, the pens, the envelopes, the papers. Then we have travel expenses. And also we may have general expenses. And uh, these general expenses could include things like um, minor repairs. It could include things like tips, um, miscellaneous expenses, and so on. Now, sometimes you may have non-petty cash items. For example, let's say an employee needs a loan. Sometimes you may find that petty cash is used to, 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 to give an employee a loan. Now, giving an employee a loan is just an example, but there could be other items that are not petty cash in nature, but petty cash is used to pay them. Now, such items are what we call sundries, and we also account for them in the petty cash we'll be able to see that in our next session. So to go over some of the advantages of the petty cash, uh, first of all, uh, it relieves the main cash book of numerous entries of large volume of transactions involving small expenditures of money. Uh, it enables the cashier 
to concentrate on major transactions while the minor or the small cash transactions are handled by the petty cashier. Then it also reduces unnecessary movement to the bank to withdraw money whenever there are any payment is supposed to be made. It reduces temptation of fraud and stealing of cash in the business. And also operating a petty cash kind of promotes division of labor. And with this comes better money management. So in our upcoming session, we shall demonstrate how we make postings to the petty cash. My name is Anwar Rangakuramia, and this is Kisengo Academy. Like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. Check out other awesome accounting lectures on the channel. Take care.